Doctor, since you, there's a lot of excitement about the vaccines now, no? since you, uh, I, I want to know what you think about these latest developments. There are people who are worried that the vaccines were developed too quickly, record time, and they're worried about about the consequences. What are your views on this? I'm, I'm talking about the Pfizer, of course, the, the ones that are, that, will, uh, that are coming on stream being rolled out, including the ones from China and Russia. Yeah. Well, again, because these are what we call, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, Iggy. Thanks again. Uh, well, first of all, we believe in vaccines. We're not saying that vaccines are bad. We're not anti-vaxxers. We've been tagged as anti-vaxxers. Yeah. But we believe in vaccines. However, we also believe that vaccines should be properly tested and uh, up to uh, when it's already wide uh, use in the phase four of the vaccine trials. It should not be already be advertised as it's completely safe as we haven't even finished phase four. Secondly, this is an mRNA vaccine. There's never been a vaccine like this before. So you should not just say it's the same as the other vaccines because it's a new one. So in my opinion, it's still experimental. So it should not be just considered as, uh, of course, it would be safe like the other vaccines. You should wait a while or at least let the phase four trials finish. But Doc, what's the implication of it being an mRNA oh. vaccine? Uh, uh, yeah. How would that be different in terms of its effect on people? Uh, that's actually what we don't know. I will not say that it's worse or better, but it's a new technology. I, I think it's just the same process of trying to help our bodies recognize a uh, particular antigen of the virus. Its method is actually putting an mRNA into our cells, and our cells will produce the antigen on its surface. And our bodies will recognize those antigen. Yeah. Ito ba yung sinasabi nila na mababago raw yung RNA ng, well, ng gene, um, the human genome, RNA yeah, will be caught in Wi-Fi? I think they're not yet, you know, unfounded pa yung complete. I will not show you evidence that that is actually what will happen. Okay. But the answer is, we still don't know for sure. Uh -huh. So, so, Dr. So Omar, it's still, still, still research too young. Yeah. Still too young. I mean, even scientists are still in uh, disagreement whether these mRNA vaccines can somehow affect our own uh, genetic uh, uh, code. So that's that's where really, really because it's a very new vaccine and it's a very new, uh, very new technology in using uh, mRNA as a form of uh, therapy. So I think we have to be more careful when we are giving these types of uh, medical treatments, no? So I think, and, and remember, again, am I in... And remember, they have the burden of proof of make, making sure it's safe. Do you know what Paddy Sabine? It's safe, and then let's see. The burden of proof should be theirs, and until it's proven safe, then I think that's where we start really using it. So, what would be a reasonable time na maintay tayo? Kasi yung emergency use authorization, yun yung third phase trial, eh. In fact, to roll out na, parang ito na yung fourth and final phase. Yeah, yeah. Kaya namin na nga, ginagamit na. So, what's a reasonable time for us, tayo, kulelap tayo sa, hindi naman kulelap, pero medyo baba tayo ng priority. What's a reasonable time period for waiting for the, for the consequences of ano? Listen, the, the, there's so many questions about this virus, even whether the, the vaccine will work up to six months. So it may not actually yeah. work by the time six months now, because it's such a new uh, vaccine. No one, has, no one even knows. The, the earliest patient that was given this was about six months ago, so may pala pumapasak yung data. But I would wait six months when the phase four trials is finished. You might have long-term side effects from it. Eh? So yeah. why, why am I saying this? But that's how vaccines are. Vaccines are not really quickly developed. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. and we had uh, okay. our issues with Deng Baksha, where we did have a problem because we were trying to rush it in. But I think we also have to consider something with the vaccines. I think, because people might think when you get the vaccine, hindi ka na COVID. That's the wrong. Uh, that's the wrong impression. No, the vaccines were made so that if you do get COVID, you won't get a severe infection. Even Dr. Fauci admitted 
the vaccines will not prevent you from getting the virus. Very important. There, the, the, the data or the pri objective there or the primary outcome that they were measuring was how many people with COVID infection will, be, will have severe form of COVID, right? So if, if that's, the, that's the main goal is to prevent you from having a severe form of COVID infection, why can't we use, why cannot we use early treatment, treat patients early so that they won't have a severe form of infection? So it's the same thing. So we're, we're, we're trying to achieve the same goal, which is preventing people from having a severe form of infection. Therefore, you prevent them from being hospitalized, you prevent them from dying. I think that's what we have to look at and really consider. Okay, what? Pag eh. uh, so, so, Doc, uh, what you're saying is this. What, tell me if I'm getting this right again. I, I mean, I, I do tend to be repetitious, pero it's also for the benefit yeah, of good, the viewers. Eh. Uh, uh, so, good, tell good. me if I'm getting this right. Like, sabi po ninyo, um, the vaccines will not immunize you from the disease. It will yes. immunize you from getting a Same bad uh, yes. case Same. of the disease. Yes, yes. So that's, 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 the prime, that's a study, it. yes. You could still get sick, but you won't get yes. badly sick. Yeah, that's that's the goal. That's what what you know. These yeah. vaccines are hoping yeah. is that yeah. it won't give you a severe form of infection.